So I got this little oval sink. And I treated myself to two brand new blueies. One of these little compression insert. And then I can pull this up. We used to hang around town pretty late. Hello everybody, welcome back to the van build. If you are new here, my name is Linnea and that is Akila. And for the past seven, eight-ish months, we have been building out our 2016 Ram Promaster. I have been doing the build 100% by myself with zero prior experience. So if you too are an individual that has very little experience yet has taken on a huge project like a van build, you are in the right spot. So let's get started with today's video, which is all about my sink installation and my plumbing. Before I get too far into this, I want to quickly show you where I am. All right, back to the plumbing. So one thing you need to know about my plumbing and what I've decided to do is that it is very, very simple. Not once did I consider having hot water and I have settled for a foot pump because I really think that's all I need. At the point of me filming this video, I've been living in my van full time for about a month. And while I admit my sink and faucet and water system is a little bit slow and finicky at times, it's really all I need. So if you are looking for a very simple, easy setup, this is it. <laughs> time to put the sink in. For my sink, this is what I got. So I got this little oval sink. It's 11 and a quarter inches across and it's just under nine inches wide. So it's small, but I think it'll be good for what I need it for, you know? This is the faucet that I've decided to go with. It was just a cheap little drinking water faucet that I got from Home Depot. Okay, this is the center there. I don't know if you can see them running around out there. What? Uh, yeah, I peed in that. <laughs> don't tell mom. <laughs> You're joking me, everyone? So I marked where the holes are. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more adjusting um, and then it should fit. You got ice like summer sky. If you smart, good kill I die. And now it starts to rain, so let's enjoy it. So under there now, I'm going to attach these little L brackets with this bolt and then I'll finish up with this little guy in the bottom on all four of those. So my hope is to work on some of the plumbing today, but first I do want to create some framing structure within kind of that lower open space where all of my water will be because I have created a box. I'll show you. This box that I made is going to be my little pull out garbage. Here's my little garbage in there and I'll stuff recycling. So I didn't want to waste all the space that's available underneath that area. So this is my one drawer that will go under there and all the plumbing will then kind of go around that. So. Yesterday I went to the hardware store and I gathered I think everything that I need to complete my plumbing project. My plan for my water storage is to use these. I call these blueies. And I treated myself to two brand new blueies. My plan is to keep two full blueies at all times. I might end up buying another bluey so I have a total of four, one being my gray water. So my plan is this, to have both blueies down here, fresh water with plumbing up to my sink, and then this one being my gray water. Basically for my plumbing, I'm going with the simplest thing that I can think of. I will not have hot water, and for my pump, I will be using a foot pump. Because my sink is so small, I had a really hard time finding a little like strainer that would fit it, and I found this cute little one, and it's just barely too big. So what I ended up getting is kind of like a 
bathroom sink plug thing. So I am going to install this first. So here I removed the washer and the nut. And once I put some plumber's putty around here, I'll just drop this right in and attach it with these things on the bottom. The guy at the store that helped me find the pieces that I needed said, always use more than what you think you need. So that's what I'm doing. This is the extra plumber's putty. So satisfying to take that off. So because my sink is so thin, I actually need an extra washer, or at least that's how I'm gonna solve this problem. So right now I'm taking the part of the pump that will be sucking water in and attaching it to the top of uh, my little bluey cover here, but it's pretty cold out here, so this isn't really going on. So I'm using my heater. <laughs> it's a very convenient heat source to loosen up this water line. <laughs> All right, this will be the cap. And I did put a ring clamp here on this hose just because I didn't get it down very far, but I think it is perfectly secure. If you think about this being inside of my water tank, it's not going to be very effective because it loops up like that. But I'm just deciding to slip this on it like that. And that's all I'm gonna need. And then that will fit into my water bluey. All right, here are the details for my specific faucet. Basically, since I'm trying to keep this as minimal and simple as possible, I kind of have just been throwing some things together. So I purchased my foot pump and I purchased this really small, simple faucet. The issue here that I needed to troubleshoot a little bit is that I need this to somehow go into the half inch tubing here that's going to my foot pump. So I wanted to show you exactly what I have decided to do. And the guy at the hardware store did help me kind of fit this together. But basically, <clears throat> I have this adapter. What you can see <laughs> is a little adapter. And on the end of this adapter, we cut off a quarter inch copper pipe. And from there, all we did was fit one of these little compression inserts and a nut. This little brass ball that you see, I picked up more so I could show you guys, looks like this when it's not on there. And this is kind of acts as the seal so that when this bolt is tightened down, this little thing expands and acts as the seal. And the same mechanism is in here on this end. So the copper just fit into that. We tightened this down and then it'll be the same here when I fit my faucet in this will go into here and thread on and tighten down and that should seal everything on this end there's a little adapter as well so this threads in here and this is for my half inch water line what i'm going to do to make sure that this thread is good <laughs> and waterproof and tight is i'm just going to add um, this thread tape that is like totally messed up Nice. Hopefully that does the trick. All right, I feel good about that. So I'm going to place this in there and then fit this connection here on the bottom. So the first time that I tested this today with kind of a different connection and a not so great connection, um, it didn't work very well and it leaked everywhere. So I am now going to test it. I do not have my drain hooked up yet, so I'm only testing to make sure that the water will pull from my bluey and go through my sink. All right, and I've got the pump going. Okay, nothing's happening. Oh, that's why. Oh, it's because I didn't have the... All right, now let's try. <gasps> okay, now I gotta make sure it's not leaking. Oh, it's not leaking. Oh, no way. That's so cool. Um, keep in mind, this is super basic plumbing, and um, it, I'm still excited because I'm not a plumber. Do you want to show everybody your ball? You want to show them how you throw it? Throw it. Good. Oh, so close. Akila, toss it. Yes! Good girl. Okay, I'm going to go back to work now. All right, here's how I set up my gray water. Basically, I have, like you guys saw, my sink coming down here 
extra spacers so this could thread on nice and nice and good and then I just bought one of these cheap plastic just the slip connector here I just cut out a hole in my bluey it's super tight in there what will happen is everything will drain directly through down through here when I want to empty it I will just loosen this and then I can pull this up like so and then I'll be able to take this gray water tank out from there but it'll be a lot easier with two hands and then when I replace it I'll loosen this up plop it back down into that hole and tighten it back up and boom now I've got a simple little system and now I'm just gonna try the whole thing out for good all right here we go okay turn sink on No leaking. You can hear it filling that up. No leaking around here. Sweet! And I just took some sloppy measurements of the final details for that space, so let's finish it up. So a few things to know about this finished space. I had to use all scrap pieces for the faces of everything because I was right at the end of my build and I didn't want to go and spend money on more plywood so I kind of just used scrap pieces which makes it look not super uniform but I don't really care. It does what it needs to do. This is my garbage. Obviously there's garbage in there because I've been living in this. So that's my little garbage pullout, and I also use that to store recycling items, and I love that. Down here, I did cut out space for my foot to fit, so that works really well. This foot pump fits perfectly between my blueies, and I did measure this in a way so that I don't actually have anything securing my blueies in here. It's tucked behind the foot pump and held in place kind of from there. And they don't move around at all when I drive. A few things you need to know is that the size faucet I chose is really small, so it does take a while for me to fill things up. Especially big things like if I need to fill up Aquila's water bowl or my like big hydro flask of water. It takes a little while, I don't mind it. Also, the system for my gray water has been really easy just to lift that plastic piece up and empty all of the gray water. All of my cleaning supplies and my toothpaste, everything is biodegradable that I would ever put in my gray water. So I don't have to be quite as intentional about where I dump my gray water. After I completed installing everything, I did put some silicone around the edges of both my faucet and my sink. Well, I think those are all the details you need about my sink and my plumbing. Keep in mind, this is simple. It is a really minimal setup, but it works perfectly for me. I hope that you learned something or that this at least gave you an idea of what you want or maybe don't want. So if this helped in any way or if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe. That really helps us out. And by us, I mostly mean me, but also Akila because, you know. Also, keep your eye out for a video in the next few weeks. It's going to be loaded with things that I'm tweaking, changing, or adding to the van after living out of it for a few months. With that being said, thank you for watching another video and joining us on this super fun journey of building our home. <gasps> There's a bald eagle. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. That was a big bald eagle. And I will catch you next week. When we wake birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun